don't you? Yep. Wow, great. Hey, you like to read? Sure. I like to read things that give me a sense of direction, you know? Yeah? Wow, so who do you read? McNally. McNally? You know, the map guy, Rand McNally? <laughs> You're nuts. I mean the odds. You know, William Shakespeare, Ernest <laughs> Hemingway, <laughs> Jim Dixon. <laughs> you know, I think it was Shakespeare that once said, what's in a name? Heavy stuff, right? Especially with a name like Murphy. You know, he's the guy that wrote this book. If anything can go wrong, it will. And I get first-hand experience to know that's true. There was this one day, definitely a Murphy day. Hey, where to, Mr. Logan? And hurry! <laughs> right away, I didn't have a good feeling about this guy. I don't know, I guess it was the way he was mumbling. I figured he worked for the government or something. Hey, stop! Stop here! Let me out! Let me out! Here! Now! Hey, no one stiffs Crisco here for 11 bucks, so I go after this bum. Now I'm maimed, and I'm out 11 bucks because of some bum named Murphy. But I kept thinking, hey, it's okay. I'm a happy guy. Let me get that off of something. Oh, no. At this point, I'm getting pretty tired of dealing with all these Murphys. I'm out 11 bucks, and I've got a bum leg. So I figure I'll go to the doctor. Guess what his name was? Yep, Chris Cotello. Dr. Chris Cotello, my uncle. He really knows his bones. After all, he went from breaking them to fixing them. Yet sometimes, I still wonder. No, no, no! As you can see, it was worse than I thought. Hey, man, wake up! Huh? What? What's your name, man? Sean. Well, Sean, would you like to be the first to sign my cast? Sure. You got a pen? Yeah. Have a nice summer, Sean. Murphy. Murphy? Sean Murphy? Sean Murphy? Relax. What's in the name, anyway? Murphy? 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 Hey, mister! Mister! Hey, mister! Uh, can I have change for a quarter? What time is it? Are you some kind of test? No, just a kid. Well, kid, I say it's time for you to get out of here. Cheers. Scenes like that one happen every day to us kids. So listen up, grown-ups. Save that lack of respect for a guy named Dangerfield. Because if kids don't start getting some real respect, we're going to unite and throw a megaton tantrum. And believe me, it'll get real ugly. So please, look into your hearts and be nice to young people. Yeah, we're white kid. Because if you don't, it'll get real ugly. Ugh.